Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel, Eve Elements LLC. How is everybody doing on this wonderful Thursday? Okay, so we're going to get into these card readings. Okay, I'm going to pull some cards. What was going on during that uh, red, that blood, red blood full moon, the blood full moon? What was going on in the blood full moon, Holy Spirit? So some of y'all was doing, if, if you're wondering if your money spells or your luck spells was working, correct, they are. You got 777 for those money spells that you did on the um, Blood Moon in Taurus. 777, luck is on your side. You are on the ultimate spiritual path. Keep doing what you're doing. As far as the money magic is concerned, keep doing what you're doing. Spirit is here. 777 is speaking to you. Anything else for the blood moon? Someone else is in the cemetery sending hexes to, towards other people. Here. What else? Show me what was actually going on currently. The blood moon. Low magic was used to hex you. So, like I said before, and I was picking up, there were hexes being done. What else? We're going to get one more card. What was going on on that blood moon in Taurus? What was going on in the blood full moon? Mm -hmm. A female high, pri high priestess did a jar spell to hex you. See that? extra one that's a bonus what was going on what was going on in the um blood full moon and torture uh, there was someone in the background if your partner has been acting funny towards you and left you or severed ties with you because there was a side person a, a guy, a side ninja hexed your person out of jealousy. It came out reversed. We're going to put that there. That's the bonus right there. We're going to look into who was in the damn cemetery. So who was in the cemetery sending hexes? Someone with moon in uh, Cancer. Or moon in Pisces. Someone with a Pisces moon. Heavy Pisces moon, recurrence events. This person was um, recurringly doing moon spells. Most likely they would take their car, they'd drive into the cemetery. Okay. They were doing this to make someone walk away from you. Okay. But whatever occurred, this person either now or later is going to end up walking from them. They were happy to do this. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Queen of Swords, Energy. We got Bouquet here. They were bringing flesh flowers to a gravestone here that they did not know who it belonged to. What else you got for me? Mother figure. A bear. A mother with two children was doing this. And now they worried. I heard they worried about the backfire. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to backfire. Mm -hmm. This person's a thief here. 
This is a sibling. Yeah, time is up for this person here. They were doing it with family members. All of them are thieves. They were doing it to possibly steal someone's inheritance. It has a lot to do with having someone walk away from you and their children. Or to get someone's children se separated from them. To steal their children. Or to steal their family member. To become a part of that person's family. Or to dismantle someone's family. They tried to break this person up with their family. Time is up for this individual. What's the remedy? The remedy is bad karma. Tree reverse. Seven of cups reverse. Someone can see through the fog with this one. Someone knows what's going on. Whoever is involved in this, they either gonna pass away or literally there's going to be a transformation. What's one more remedy to this? Thank you. Had to do a lot with a guy. Told you. They wanted you to walk away from your person. Your person to walk away from you to make it an unhappy home. They wanted y'all to walk on two different paths. Two different roads. They didn't want y'all to see eye to eye. So someone was in the cemetery sending spirits to you. It hexed you and your person. Hexed the whole relationship. Bring this person into their vicinity. I heard, but not let them move in with them. They wanted this person out on the street homeless. And you wouldn't allow that even though you got kids by this person. We got garden. This person was having gatherings with people. Tribe and then gathering. Yeah, that's family members. Gathering together to discuss what's going on. Punishment is soon to come for this person. Mm -hmm. Because they knew what they were doing. Crossroads is reversed. They're not at the crossroads. They knew exactly what they were doing. Person is very unhappy. Mm -hmm. They spell what backfired. They got people stealing from them. Their own family stealing from them. This is fated to happen. Because they were being stubborn. Yep, this is part of their destiny. And the guy's leaving them. This guy's very mean to them and he's walking off on them as well. This person is very abusive towards this uh, mother figure that was doing this spell work in the cemetery. All them spirits and backfired on this person. Now, was it worth it? I bet you it wasn't. Mm -hmm. I bet you it's fucking working. The next one, low magic used to hex you. Clarify this. Low magic was used to hex the collective. Or a person in the collective. Someone's being a snake. Queen of Wands. Uh, let me see here. This is cheating, betrayal, manipulation, deception. At its highest peak.
someone wanted to be the star so bad. So it's going to betray anybody. Yeah, it's an Aquarius. This man is no longer with that person. This could be dealing with a celebrity as well. They're receiving spiritual backlash from their ancestors. With the whip here, jack of a clubs. Young fire sign energy. Young Aries energy. Yeah, there's a lot of anger and self-conflict here. Someone self-inflicting themselves. They even may try to self-sacrifice themselves. And end up dead. No peace like home. They're being uh, disturbed in their sleep when they sleep at night. There's a disturbance in this person's home. Could be, especially spiritual. Because they're digging with uh, this magic here. Treasure Island reversed. Someone's losing all their money over this. Mm. Because someone wanted to block you. Someone wanted to block your change. They're trying to fuck with your destiny. Change your destiny. End your destiny. But your destiny is rooted. Through your bloodline, they can't touch it. We have thieves here with your might. And then we have the moon. And it's a thief here. Um, person about to receive a message here or you could from this thinker this person's thinking a lot about sending you a message here but they got to go meditate about it all right we're gonna look into this female high priestess so definitely that person wants to send you a message what is this high priestess up to they're doing jar spells mm -hmm. Blood full moon female high priestess did a jar spell to hex the collective. Doing crossroads magic as well. Someone who's 22 years old who shouldn't be doing that. Whoever this Sagittarius is. You got Aries Leo Sag Queen of Wands reverse. Angry, bitter, young person here. Coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Diamonds here. Someone has Earth and Fire in a chart here. This person cheats a lot. They betray a lot. They get angry. They do work. Okay. This person is like, um, I always say on my channel, I don't like walking on eggshells around people. People so damn sensitive. But that witch literally inherits this person's body. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This person ain't getting a leg up anyway. Whatever they're doing is not working. This person could be online. They're very unfaithful. They're not loyal whatsoever. Um, they have a lot of hope in the situation. But it's not going to work. Truth be told. Any magic being done by the high priestess. Especially that jar spell to hex the collective is not working. You still shine like the star that you are. This person will never have a leg up in your life. Because they are not loyal. Give me one of that high priestess. One jar spells on people. 
Yeah, they investments. They plan on doing this for six days. Starting with the blood moon. Obsessive observer, sorry, observer reversed. This person at one time was watching you. Or watching you be lucky. There's something that they're not seeing though. Someone could be 49. 22. Someone's not this this person is not blessed with the gifts. Blessed reverse. They're not blessed with the gift of sight. Time is up for this witch, fake witch, anyway. This person's not blessed with the gift of sight. Observer reversed with blessed reverse. They're not blessed with the gift of sight at all. Or intuition. Or any type of spiritual gifts for that matter. This person's experiencing bad karma. The ancestors turned their backs on them. This person's not happy. This high priest is not happy. This is someone, two or more kids, two or less kids. This person has two, has two kids on the card. They're not a good mother. They're not happy being with children. Eight of Pentacles here. We're dealing with a government institution here that may come and take this high priestess children. That hex backfired though, didn't it? It's not the fears. Stability wise. Tell me about the high priestess did a jar spell. The hex the collective. 22 years old, significant here. They no longer at a crossroads here. They was doing crossroads work and they no longer doing it anymore. Queen of Wands reverse. Here we go. High Priestess. Cheater, betrayer. This is a thief. This is a Decepticon here. They go to the crossroads at night. But see, before you do work on people, you're supposed to do dumb. You're supposed to do divination. This is the person that ain't got the gift of sight. All they know is if they don't like something, they do spell work and boom. You know what I'm saying? Then the spell will hit the target and stuff like that. And they hope it will work. Gentlemen, reverse. Confirmation. Mm -hmm. Contract. Reverse. One more for this high priestess. Mm -hmm. Show me the outcome. 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 This could be two gay people. She gonna lose her female partner. One could be way masculine than the other one. They both have two kids. Y'all know how I go. Don't act like y'all don't. Child or children, jack of spades. It could be foreigners. Spades is from a third world country. Foreigners, they could be Asian or they could be Latino. And they're fair skinned. So someone was trying hard, but they're very disloyal. Someone could be going to get a dog here. They're losing their family. They're losing their stability. They're losing their children. Something to do with a contract. They're losing a contract or they're breaking a contract. They was doing all of that to mess with someone. Stupid. What else we got for this high priestess? Mm -hmm. 
hold on. Okay. What's gonna happen to this high priestess? I hear blockages for them. They're gonna lose all their prosperity. Fish reverse. They're gonna lose a child as well if they are pregnant. Aquarius energy here. <clears throat> Whoever this person is, this high priestess is losing money. They're having a lot of bad luck in finances. <clears throat> Money, profit, down abundance. There's no inheritance, no wealth coming for this individual here. This is this person's fate to have bad luck and bad karma. They shouldn't be playing around in the cemetery. They're unhappy in the home with someone who could be born year to dog, or if they literally are born year to dog. Anything else? <laughs> there will be no rebirth for this person. Point blank, period. Because they were happy and content. Trying to turn your world upside down. It's time for them to go. They got to get up out your energy. Thinking that it's an unfinished symphony with you. Like they had to finish you off or finish the job or something like that. They will be warned by spirits to stop. Because they were trying to cause you a death or accidental death. Here something or legal situations they were trying to cross they were trying to cross you up by going to the cemetery here cause a chaos and conflict they were on the distance too being real flexible with it but all that shit came to an end they didn't want you to have rebirth now they're not gonna have rebirth and they're losing their stability as we speak how you feel how that forehead do how that forehead do bitch but she reading <clears throat> 